everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i will be discussing the pros and the cons about living in turkey if you're new here on my channel i'm a dutch girl and i'm living in marmaris turkey and i'm living here now for about four years and like i said i'm originally from the netherlands so turkey and the netherlands are such different countries and i thought it was a really fun uh, video idea to just tell you what i like about turkey and what i like a little bit less and of course it doesn't mean that i don't like turkey uh, every country has its pros and its cons so um, yes, I will be discussing them. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any new videos. And I also have an Instagram where you can follow me. And now let's get started with the video. So let's first start with the cons and then we end on a positive note. So the first thing that is a con here in Turkey is the traffic. Like I said, I'm from the Netherlands and the traffic there is really well organized. The roads in the Netherlands are really good. And um, when I came to Turkey, the traffic was just one big mess. Everyone is all time driving everywhere. The scooters go everywhere. They drive really fast, which makes me sometimes really scared. And it's just really chaotic all of the time. Maybe it's also because Turkey is such a big country and um, there are a lot of cars here. Marmaris is not a really big city, but if you go maybe to Istanbul, Izmir, Ankara, um, yeah, it's, it's just really chaotic and there are so much cars if you go out of the cities and you drive like in the mountains you also have to be really careful because sometimes there can be so quick accidents so i am driving here in turkey but i don't really like it because i'm still a bit scared i would say i didn't drive a lot in the netherlands because before i came here i just got my driver license so i'm driving and i'm trying to be more comfortable here but uh, if you want to drive in Turkey, uh, you really have to be comfortable with a lot of traffic and a lot of chaotic uh, situations. So uh, yeah, that's one thing that I would say it's a con here. The next con, if you come to Turkey and you don't speak the Turkish language, it's sometimes quite hard to communicate. When I came here, I didn't speak any Turkish. Amaris is obviously a really touristic place. So here a lot of people, uh, people do speak uh, English. But if you go out of the city, a lot of people don't speak English. So that's one thing to keep in mind. If you are planning to live in Turkey, definitely make sure you learn some uh, Turkish words. Just the basic things like Merhaba, Nasılsın, Hello, how are you? And maybe some directions or uh, how you order things in a restaurant. Maybe that's nice. Maybe if you have a Turkish partner, it's all right. But if you move here alone or something like that maybe it's nice that you know some turkish in turkey a lot of things are cheap but also some things are really expensive here for example if you want to buy a car in turkey if you compare it for example to the netherlands or other countries a car here can be really expensive and also the petrol the petrol is really expensive i don't know why cars are so expensive in turkey but uh, unfortunately they are and also the alcohol can be really expensive here i personally don't drink alcohol maybe one glass uh, with new year i don't know i don't drink a lot but uh, if you do yes alcohol can be quite expensive here as well what can be a con as well and this is the last one is the distance turkey is such a big country especially if i compare it where i am from in the netherlands you drive from one side to the other in maybe three hours but if we want to go from Marmaris uh, to Bodrum or to Izmir, Izmir is already like 5-6 hours. So uh, be prepared to travel a lot further than you are used to. If you need to go for example to government buildings uh, for your visa application or other things, you need to travel quite far for that. Or maybe if you just want to visit another city, uh, it's just quite far to travel. But I would say that uh, there's a lot of ways to travel in Turkey, like you have a lot of buses. Uh, in the area where I live, you don't have trains, but you do have buses and the closest airport 
uh, is Dalaman. Dalaman is like a two hour drive, something like that. So um, yes, there are ways in Turkey, of course, to travel with the plane. And uh, there, are, there are trains, but not in the area uh, where I live. So then some positive things, because I love living here and there's a lot of positive things about Turkey. So uh, first I want to start off with the weather. This really depends on where you live, but if you live in the south of Turkey, uh, you have such long summers. And I just really love that about Turkey, that it's always nice and sunny. Also right now it's quite hot, you can swim in the sea. And that's something that I just really love. The people here in Turkey are always really friendly and they want to give you always food and they are so welcoming. The culture in Turkey is something that I really love as well. They have really their kind of music, their food, obviously their food is amazing. Like I said in other videos, you have the Turkish chai, coffee. You have so many amazing dishes, you have baklava, you have uh, dolma, burek. There are so many amazing dishes here. It can be a pro and a con, but there are also so many different animals here in Turkey. Where I live, there are so many cats, dogs, especially if you go out of the city in the villages, you have a lot of uh, animals, like a lot of goats, horses, sheep, um, so many different animals. And if you go more to the inside of Turkey, I believe you have bears, uh, wolves, like so many uh, different kind of animals. The nature in Turkey is absolutely beautiful. It's again really depends on where you are, where I am. There are a lot of mountains, the sea, uh, it's also quite green. If you go more to the Black Sea side, it's also really beautiful. It's a little bit like Switzerland, a lot of green mountains and lakes. And the nature is just breathtaking here. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like to see more Turkey related videos, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday a brand new video. And of course, you can also follow me on Instagram. And I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos. Bye.